Hi Casey, I saw that you didn't get any feedback from your rough draft in the workshop discussion, so I decided I would just make you a quick video. Um, the biggest issue I see in your summary is that right now it's too long, so I think I can make some uh, suggestions in each paragraph for how to condense it and places where you can cut out specific examples, maybe some of the longer quotes, and just in general refocus kind of the scope of the overall discussion. Um, so just to start out, your formatting is great and your MLA is good throughout. Um, your works cited looks great as well. I would suggest just coming up with a title that is different from the title of the original article because this isn't the article How Twitter Will Change the Way We Live. This is a summary of the article How Twitter Will Change the Way We Live. So um, I would just shift this title to be slightly different from um, exactly the title of the original article. You do a pretty good job introducing the article in your first sentence, but I would say it would be more effective if you could move this publication information, the source and the date, up into the um, first sentence. So I think you could just drag it up there um, and, you know, put a comma afterwards. So, whoops. So Stephen Johnson's article, How Twitter Will Change the Way We Live, published for Time Magazine on June, two, June 5, 2009, describes the evolution of Twitter and the lasting impact and legacy it may have in the future. Um, so I think that'll flow right into your thesis, a paraphrase of the thesis more smoothly. The other thing I would suggest for this first paragraph is to reshift um, your paraphrase of the thesis here to... Uh, from a focus on the topic he's discussing to his actual argument. And so remember, the argument always has to indicate the position that they take in regards to this issue. So is it a good or a bad thing? Um, and also sum up the main points. And so you do a pretty good job laying out his main supporting points in the remainder of the paragraph. So I think if you were to just refocus this here more on um, the fact that this is a good thing, um, that it has evolved in a way that is extremely useful based on um, what I think his biggest point is, is that um, the users are able to make those innovations. And then I think after that, all of this stuff will make a lot more sense because um, your reader will interpret it as points in support of the actual argument that you've stated here. Okay, and then as I mentioned, I wanted to talk to you just a little bit about the scope of the overall discussion. So this first paragraph does a good job laying out the main supporting points. Broad spectrum conversations, independency of the follower base, additions to Twitter by followers themselves, and the best platform to move forward. So what you need to do in the body of your summary then is just give us a couple of sentences about each one of those instead of these really lengthy paragraphs about each one because you really want to get your um, summary down to about a page, a page and a half. So I would use this as kind of a guide for, okay, what are the points that I need to discuss? And then just give us a couple of sentences about each. So for example, you're talking here about the broad spectrum discussions point that you alluded to um, right here. So you don't even need to mention the conference. All you have to say is that there, uh, Johnson describes a new realm of discussion, which is further enhanced by uh, the ability of users to interact in a kind of uh, second level of discussion or something like that. You don't have to put it in the context even of the conference that he attended because that is too specific of an example. So just tell us what he says about broad spectrum discussions here and then move right on to the next point about the independency of the follower base. Um, similarly, there were a couple of quotes that you could tank, take out that were a little too long. You know, I like how you're quoting maybe one word at a time here just to enhance your overall paraphrase, but a quote like this one here isn't really necessary because you've already paraphrased this idea in the first part of the sentence and you don't need both the paraphrase and the quote because remember this is a summary, your job is to be succinct and you just want to represent each um, idea and give it the same kind of proportional attention as it got in the original article. So if this is just one of his points, you don't need to go on and on about it in your summary because it's not the most important argument that he makes overall. So I would just cut this quote out. And similarly down here, this is kind of an example of both of the things I'm talking about. This is too specific of an example and you really don't need to quote here. So I would just cut this out and stick to 
the representation of the main ideas that you have in the remainder of these paragraphs, but you could even cut that down further, like I said, just a couple of sentences about each of the main ideas that you list here in this first paragraph is all that's really necessary. Um, and then same thing uh, in your conclusion, I was a little concerned that you started to evaluate him here. Remember, summary is objective and you don't want to be evaluating the article in any way. Um, so all you need to do here at the end is just kind of wrap it up with, again, a brief summation of his thesis. Uh, you know, I don't even think you need to go on as as long as you do here about the about the issue itself. Just say, you know, Stephen Johnson argues that Twitter is evolving in an extremely useful way, mostly due to the innovations of the users or something to that extent. And then as I said, your MLA was perfect, so good job with that. All right, well, if you have any further questions, let me know. And again, I apologize that you didn't get any feedback, but hopefully this will be useful to you um, as you work on your final draft for uh, tomorrow night. Thanks. Email me with any questions you may have.